This is Twit. Hackers are, of course, jumping on the opportunity to take advantage of any disaster. According to the FBI, hackers are sending, get this, this is really low, malicious teddy bears via the Postal Service, uh, along with USB drives. The FBI warns organizations and security professionals that cyber criminal groups have been targeting various businesses with malicious USB devices acting as a keyboard when plugged into a computer, injecting commands, downloading and executing a JavaScript backdoor. <laughs> Here's one so, pretending to so be a two, Best Buy refund. Oh, Lord. 2007 wants its security headlines back. Yeah. I mean, this, is, yeah. this is really sort of old What do they call these candy uh, drops, the, uh, the leaving behind the USB key? The sad thing is these USB, uh, like bad USB, was never fixed. So you could still hack these things uh, very easily and uh, put them, you know, send them out via email. <sighs> Hackers never, never rest, do they? Let's see. Uh, Snopes no. has had to scale back its fact checking because there's so much COVID-19 misinformation. <laughs> they they can't keep up. They can't keep up. Exhausting our staff in this crisis is not the cure for what is ailing our industry, says Snopes. We're overwhelming. Our, our small team is being overwhelmed, and we can't ask them to ramp up productivity. Well, and you're also starting to see now uh, some reports... I haven't seen them confirmed by multiple sources yet, but some reports that the Chinese are using the same types of networks that the Russians used for disinformation. Uh, and, you know, so so coronavirus disinformation uh, schemes uh, coming coming from China now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Russia. And, They're and from Russia. China and Russia. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's it's pretty it's pretty gross there. It, there is that uh, story from uh, from Reuters. Joe Mann wrote up on the uh, uh, cyber. Oh God, what are they called? Um, uh, the uh, CTI League, the Cyber Threat Intelligence League, um, which is fighting uh, uh, COVID nineteen misinformation, disinformation. Are they like the Justice and League? Is that who these guys are? Yeah, I mean it's a it's it's a large group of of professional hackers, uh, cybersecurity experts. Um, Mark Rogers, who is uh, a VP at Okta, um, and he's a he's well known in the cybersecurity and infosec communities, is one of the four people who's organizing this. Um, but they said that they're seeing uh, phishing attacks in every language known to man. Oh, man. Um, I don't know how you send a phishing attack in cuneiform, but uh, I, I, I presume uh, every all the other ones are being represented. Um, and people are so freaked out by coronavirus and COVID-19 that, uh, that they're clicking on things that they really ought not to be clicking on. Um, uh, so so this, and, is and the, this is the story. They're, they're, they're the CTI yep. League, there's 400 uh, security experts of 40 countries. And what are they? What are they doing? Are they? Is it an informational thing? Are they? Are they like the Justice League donning tights and a cape and running over and fixing your computer? What are they? What, what well, are they doing? Uh, <laughs> I don't know that I help. I don't know that I want to see people uh, in tights any more than I have to. <laughs> security uh, experts in tights, especially from the security community, yeah, because you know, God love them. They not are not the fittest bunch. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I, I I think what's happening is is that they're they're sharing information on uh, the phishing attacks that they're seeing in ways that they haven't shared it before, um, and it's it's uh, you know these messages are being used to get people to cough up passwords, other sensitive information, um, which almost always comes back to finances, right? And if you can. If you can own some company's corporate network because what they get inside the VPN, yeah, uh, you know why not? Um, right. So you know, Rogers didn't give Joe Men a lot of specifics, but he did say that they had already dismantled one campaign that used a software vulnerability uh, to spread malicious software. I mean, 
it's not really clear how much they're stopping. Certainly, I can say that I've personally seen an uptick in coronavirus spam, uh, and not just pitches from you know uh, desperate marketers. Um, uh, you know, standard bad. standard rules apply. Don't click on stuff. Yeah. If you get text messages, make sure you know who it's from. Well, I think people working from home, you don't have the IT department down the hall. You might feel a little bit more comfy because you're wearing your bunny slippers and you might just, your guard might be down a little bit. And of course, the thing I most worry about is when those people working from home come back to work and put that computer on the network. I guess if they're VPNing, they might as well be on the network. 